Good morning. How are you guys? It's Jane from Surface Anthology and Chalk Mercantile. I hope everybody's great today. It's a beautiful sunny day as you can see here in Connecticut. Um, we're going to do something a little different today. And I have a little show and tell that I found while I was madly looking for my watercolor paper. You ever do that? My my workshop studio is so disorganized um, that I spent a lot of time looking for stuff. And I thought, gee, you know, I remember taking my watercolor blocks out. I have all kinds of watercolor paper. And I took it out. I'm like, I'm never going to use that. <laughs> oh, my God. So I couldn't find it, but while I was looking for it, um, I found a piece that I did when I was a freshman in art school, and it's a little sketch. We had to do like um, copying the masters. I mean, who's better to, to copy from? So we would do these little... Um, this one I, I'm sure I did in oil paint and pencil. And I and it's just an old board. We would just grab them and cut them up. And I have a bunch of these somewhere. And I'm thinking about putting them on my wall as a little, um, a little gallery wall of what I did when I was 17 years old. But you guys, it's the best way to learn. So if you're interested in any kind of art, photography, you know, whatever writers, you know, you, you'll really study the masters. But I had a ball and I remember doing these sketches. So that's what I found today. And it took me right back to uh, being a teenager in art school. So anyway, I just, I just sent out my link to my text group. If you're interested in that, you guys, you just um, text me at 860-385-6369 and then you'll know when I'm going live with, <laughs> with one of my projects. But I've gotten, the reason I was looking for watercolor paper is I've gotten very interested in paper because I notice a lot of people are doing um, art journals, junk journals, and like I said, I found an old little sketch that I did, an oil painting sketch I did when I was in art school. I have also tons of notebooks where we would draw, put down ideas. So that got me thinking, I'm going to start trying some of this stuff on paper, using chalk paint, using, you know, iron orchid, using stamps, paints, whatever, and see what I come up with. And I'm actually thinking about doing an art journaling workshop. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments, message me, and I'll let you know when, um, if and when I, I put that together because it's something I'm just really, really intrigued by. And I think as decorative painters, it's a great way to um, collect ideas, thoughts, sketches that you might have in a journal that you can then look through, you know, when you need to inspire yourself. <laughs> so anyway, what I'd like to do today is try putting a transfer. Let me tell you guys, I'm dying of heat and it's not a hot flash. Uh, my husband made me, <laughs> I have a little wood stove here, made me a fire this morning and it's, it, it's 10 degrees outside, but it's cooking in my studio. So what I have is, I'm going to make a, what do they call these, um, a scroll. So I just, I couldn't find my watercolor paper, so I took some brown craft paper and I just cut it. I have a big roll of it and I wanted to see how chalk paint would be on it and it's great. I, I oops, let me get my crap out of here. I painted this and... It's good. The paper is holding up well. So in the in the vein of 
February and Valentine's, I'm gonna do some reds next, dry them, and then I wanna try putting a transfer down. And I'm actually using, I'll be using the bar and sudgen or sudgen. You can't see it, it's white. So I think it's gonna look beautiful on the red. So I'm gonna give that a shot. So I've got my water, my one inch paintbrush, and I have, good morning, Joni. <laughs> How are you doing? How is it down there in Alabama? It's 10 degrees here. Um, it's really cold out. I was really cold when I took my dogs out this morning. <laughs> Thank God there was no wind. Um, but anyway, I've got three colors of red because I'm going to kind of mush these colors about. And this is a really traditional chalk paint, you guys. There's no top, top coat in it or anything like that. Got my one inch brush that I, I wet. As you know, I always do that. And I'm just going to, I'm gonna brush off my dog's fur and I'm just gonna start pushing this around. And yeah, that's a little bee down there. I needed to test out to see if a um, transfer would stick and it did. So I'm just going to start pushing this paint around right over our B. And I'm going in all different directions. I want some texture. And let me tell you guys, this is a lot of fun. Hey, Menon, how are you? Did you guys, did you join me yesterday in Menon's um, workshop? It was fabulous. Menon is a master quilter, and I also love to quilt. And um, I took her workshop yesterday on picking fabric and how you pick fabric for a quilt. Because it could be overwhelming, let me tell you. All right, look at this red mess. <laughs> Oh, is it freezing in Alabama? Are you kidding? I know Manon is in Canada. We know they're cold, but I can't believe it's freezing. Alabama is, that's far south. Wow. So they get real winter down there. And I do love the winter. I, I'm not going to complain. All right. I want this to be kind of wide because my transfer is wide and I don't want to lose that design. Maybe I'll add a little bit of this more orange down here. And more red. And then, you guys, this is really, really fun. It's minus 20 in Canada today. Oh my God, that's where you go out and you're breathing through your nose and it's painful. Oh, stay warm, Anon. All right, that, you, can, you need a lot of quilts. All right, you guys, there's my big red splotch and that was a lot of fun, I have to say. And I'm gonna put my brush in some water, grab my blow dryer and dry this. part or the longest part is drying this paint.
right I'm gonna give this a chance when I dry stuff like this with a blow dryer I'll hit it like that wait a couple of minutes and then go back and try it again um, and while we're waiting for that please join us you know I'm talking about the painted painted cottage Facebook group our workshop our collaborative workshop is coming up on January 29th which is really really soon so go over to the painted cottage Facebook group and join and there's a lot of fun stuff going on in there now people are showing stuff off it's really a lot of fun Now I'm having allergies. Oh, what a day. Gonna. So what I'm finding immediately is with paper when you're using, and that does, boy, you could you you could do this and use it as wrapping paper or anything. It's like really cool. But that moisture goes through the paper, and I can feel it underneath. So that's affecting how quickly this dries for sure. So I'm gonna keep at it. tried Menon or Joni have you guys done any um, journaling junk journaling art journaling because I am really really intrigued by it all right this is uh -oh. you got to keep that backing on your transfer for sure and it comes, this is the older style transfer, which is on a roll. And I'm going to cut what part of the transfer I want on here. So I'm going to grab my scissors. Try not to cut the bottom. backing on your transfer so it doesn't get stuck like mine did. All right, so there's the bottom and then I'm going to go over here and cut the top. Okay. Roll that up, and I think we're gonna have to hit this one more time with the blow dryer. Remember, this is the first time I'm trying this, so thanks for sticking with me.
lights, I'll show you. Gotta let this cool. And look at, there's the transfer. Isn't it beautiful? This is an old um, seed packet design. Let me get my scissors out of here. So place this like you want it. And again, this is gonna be a scroll that I'm gonna put on the top here the roll, I'm gonna put a, a dowel and a couple of strings, you know, tie them on the ends to hang it. Let's see if this works. It's already sticking. It comes with this little, oh, you have to, Joni, isn't this white transfer gorgeous? Iron Orchid doesn't do a lot of white transfers, but man, this one is beautiful. So you get this little burnishing tool. It's a plastic burnishing tool. And you just come over and you start burnishing. And let's hope this works like the bumblebee did. Yes. Yay. And you just burnish. Of course, when I make a project like this for a live, I don't think about how long it's gonna take me, how large <laughs> the, the design is, because I just am like, oh, I've got to do this. I've got to just try it. Thanks, Manon. Isn't it cool? I'm like, oh, I'm just going to do this. I I got an idea, and I probably should have thought about how long it's going to take. But, yep. When I do transfers, you saw me just kind of t checking it. Do that. Don't don't just rip the whole thing off. Because there might be little areas that didn't um, stick. And you want to be able to go back and burnish those down. But the most exciting thing for me is that I could do this on paper. So it opens up a whole new world into what you could do with an art journal or a junk journal. Hey, Carol. Hi there. Oh, are you in Joni's group? Joni, you guys, actually Joni and Manon both have memberships. Joni, Joni, what's the name of your membership? Your Weathered Wings. But what's the name of your membership? And I think Manon, I know you have the bees group, but what's the name of your memberships, you guys? So Manon is a master quilter. Joni is a decorative painter extraordinaire. All right, let's see. I'll start from here. Up. Oh. Just go back. The other thing is I'm doing this on, and I realize now, a soft surface. I have um, a canvas drop cloth, and that is affecting how this is coming out. Quilt. Oh my God. Okay. So Joni's membership is called Creative Junkies. And I love that. And Manon, for you quilters or people who want to quilt, her membership is Quilt Creators Club. All right. What I'm going to do is show you guys. <laughs> 
Isn't that a cute name, Creative Junkies? Because boy, once you start crafting, painting, quilting, right? We, became, we become kind of addicted. A good addiction, I think. So here's what it's going to look like. I am not going to make you guys watch me do this whole thing because I really need to spend a few minutes um, burnishing this out. But the good news is this works. And I am now, it, it opens up a whole new world of um, journaling, creating art journals. But isn't that beautiful? I love the white on the red. So what I'll do is I'm going to finish doing this off camera. I'll take some pictures and post them. And I know I have to post the little Valentines I made the other day. And if you're interested in taking... Um, like a, a workshop in creating, actually making an art journal. And we aren't going to be just buying a journal. We're going to be making the pages from different types of paper. I might throw some fabric in there. Let me know. It'll probably be about $27. And, and if you know me, I'll be going through every single little detail on how to put that together. All right, you guys. Carol, isn't that great? And it's so February, right? It's so Valentine's without actually having hearts. All right, you guys, have a fabulous day. Happy painting, and I promise I'm going to finish this, and I will post pictures of it. Everybody, Carol Menonjoni, thank you so much for joining me today. I really had a ball. See you soon. Hey, you guys, it is Jane again. I wanted to show you... Um, if you're watching this and wondering where we're at, just go back to my previous um, live and you'll see how I started this and what I was doing. For those of you that watch this, this is what it looks like when it's done. And it did take a few minutes. It took me probably about 10 minutes to um, apply the transfer. But I got the whole thing, as you can see, take that away. But look at how absolutely stunning this transfer is on um, the red and on my, it's a scroll. So you see I have the paper like that. I'm going to put a dowel through it with some, I don't know, some jute twine or something to hang it. And the only issue I might have with this is that at the bottom... It might be light. It might be light, so it'll start to scroll. So it'll start to scroll. So it'll start to turn and roll up. So I might put um, a little dowel on the back or something, some weights to hold it down. Um, but I absolutely love it. I think this would be stunning on like a headboard for a bed, um, a piece of furniture, a piece of art on a canvas or like I made a scroll, you could also, instead of using brown paper, use a canvas, a piece of canvas that you put, um, I don't know, like plaster down, gesso down, there's all the uh, lime, not lime, um, oh, I forgot what I'm, I'm thinking of, but there's all kinds of things you could put down on canvas then apply your chalk paint like I did here, and then finally the transfer. Now I can even go over this with some decorative waxes, and I might do that um, depending on how this looks to me. I like to kind of look at things over a couple of days. But I also love the way the different colors of red, I used three different colors of red chalk paint you could see them one, two, and three underneath the um, the transfer. So there's no reason you couldn't paint a piece of furniture that way, just blending out your paints, being brave. And I always recommend go to Goodwill, go to a thrift store, and try it out on an and a good piece of furniture, not a fine antique, but, but an inexpensive piece of furniture if you're afraid. So you're not like, oh, I'm ruining this. 
But that's it, you guys. So another fun project. And again, if you're interested in learning, taking a workshop on art journaling, and um, we'll be exploring paints. Hey, Carol. It does, Carol wrote, writes that it looks like layered red rose petals. And it does, doesn't it? And you're absolutely right. And there's something just really pleasing about that, you know? All those beautiful reds. I talked, I, I posted something the other day that life is too short to not use colors you love. And I love red. I have always loved red. And Carol, when I when when it's rose season, I go right for those red rose and roses those really salmon colored roses. I love all those colors. So I've kind of committed 2022 to using these colors around me more because looking at this, yeah, you think of rose petals, happiness, you know, the wonderful smell, bees, all the good stuff. So Carol, I love that. It does look like rose petals. Um, so anyway, you guys, if you're interested in taking a workshop, it would be inexpensive, about 27, on art journaling, where we'll actually be making the book and then decorating the pages. Let me know. Other than that, have a wonderful day. Carol, thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Happy painting, and I'll see you soon.